Hey guys, welcome back to Nations Nobles. So Ori has just contacted me that she wants to do a little trade of ice for some sand. Pre pretty normal stuff, to be perfectly honest. That's like the most normal trade. Oop. I uh, most normal trade I've made. But um, as you can see, we've actually updated the uh, the ice farm quite a lot, um, and. For those of you who don't know, I actually did not know this, apparently ice um, goes faster if it's next to a full block, so that's why I have these little strips here. And as for the reason they go up, well, um, let's just say that we were getting some inconsistent spottings of like normal rain and whatnot. Instead of snow and ice, uh, we would get rain and water. So uh, I had to go a little bit higher and even that didn't work. So I <laughs> went on to this one, but yeah, we're going to make that trade with Ori. We're just going to head on over to her base, which is actually pretty close to spawn. Not that hard to find. Okay. So I know it's to the south of another portal up here. Here we go. And in we go. I actually did not confirm whether or not Ori is actually here. Oh, wow. Dang. <laughs> I, I, uh, I am liking like what you did with the place. Oh, thanks. I, I haven't seen the, the stream yet, but. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I've done more since the stream. I built that little house over there and that little leany two house thingy. Here. Oh, this is cute. I did the paths today. Thanks. This isn't where the llamas are going to stay, but they just, it worked out perfectly for them. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to go in a gladiator coliseum by my house. But uh, here's your ice. I was actually just working on ice. Oh, nice. Perfect. There's your sand and then some other little things. Oh. Oh, okay. I shall definitely take, um, do you want the bundle? <laughs> No, no, the, the bundle's part of it. I do bundles, so. Okay, okay, fair enough. Because I do rabbit hide, so. Well, thank you. You're Much welcome. appreciated. Thank you. Yes, thank you. I've been, it's just, I need to do some water elevators, and it's just so much easier to do it with ice than oh, trying to do kelp and buckets yeah. and stuff. Oh, yeah, okay. So, yeah. And then it's always good to just have, you know, stackable water in your ender chest in case you need any. <laughs> yeah, I, I keep forgetting that's like something pros do. They 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 use their water with ice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I usually forget about it until I need to make a water elevator and I don't have water everywhere. And I'm like, oh, this is going to be so annoying. I'm going to have to go get some kelp. And then I'll occasionally randomly remember that ice is a thing. <laughs> ah, okay. I I per I personally believe that kelp is easier, but I mean, you do you. But well, I mean, if I don't have kelp, uh, that's yeah, the kicker. yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. But thanks, 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 thanks for 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 for, for saying it looks all right. No, yeah, it's nice. I really it's like I really like the the idea of like using the mud with the uh, crap. What is this called? Stalactite dripstone. block or dripstone. There yep. you go. Stalactite block. There you go. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not technically yeah. wrong in a sense. No, no, you're not at all. Having some of these were made with stalactites and stuff. So, oh, okay. You know, it works. <laughs> well, um, you you have fun with your 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 kingdom. Yeah. Uh, thanks for doing business. Yeah, thanks. Yes, thank you very much for the ice. I'll keep you in mind for more ice-related needs. Okay. See you around. <laughs> See ya. Well, that was quite productive and fun. I, I I enjoyed that interaction, and I would like to sell more ice in the future, but I need to fulfill, you know, the, the reason that I started farming ice in the first place, and that was mostly so that we can get a road to Silver's place. Now, funny enough, I'm actually going to make a road to Yevo's place first uh, for two reasons. First off, I desperately need the ice, uh, or not the ice, the gunpowder, because apparently he's selling gunpowder. But also, I 
I, I wanted to talk with him about why he left town so early because I'm trying to put together why everybody disappeared and I feel like if I find Yevo I I should be able to to get an answer to that I wasn't really able to to do that when we were exploring the stronghold but um yeah let's gather up some blocks and try to make a road to Yevo's place. Now, if I remember correctly, Yevo's place is like northwest of spawn. So that's this sort of direction. So I have to figure out first where the road is going to start because I don't want to do it like right on top of the portal. So zero zero is right here. And honestly, it's not a bad place to start. It's not literally right on top of the portal but um you know it's it's close enough fairly accessible so why don't we get started on placing all this down so start it right here and then we just go every other block this is going to take a while so we finally managed to get over here we actually didn't like we, we managed to get through the first shulker box that wasn't really that full that was kind of a given but when i came to this one we didn't really make that much of a dent so i'm pretty confident we'll have enough to get to silvers as well because they're about the same distance uh if not like slightly more but i think we'll be fine but uh i i honestly don't care how far back yevo pushes this or whatever but i'll just have these here for just convenience. In fact, I'm going to make a sign here. All right, that should do it. Now, I kind of want to test if... Do I have a boat? If I don't have a boat... Oh, wait, I can craft one. I'm good. We're good. Okay, how fast does this go? Because I've never done this on blue ice before. Pretty stinking fast. Oh, yeah, that's something we're going to have to worry about. That is, that is really nice. A lot faster than flying, that's for certain. Now this is the longer stretch, so how long does this take us? It's like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Man, that took us far. <laughs> we made like a whole leap. But yeah, this is why I chose blue ice. It, it's a pain to farm, but man is it fast. So we're going to make the, the wall out of deep slate brick slabs just so we can keep mobs spawning to a minimum. Uh, and obviously not the best way of making this look pretty or whatnot, but um, we'll get there. And just like that, we ran out. We really didn't get that far. Um, we have to use a lot more of these than the, uh, than the blue ice. So I'm not terribly surprised there, so we're going to have to find some deposit and or I guess we could just strip mine for a while, right? With a with a fortune pickaxe. Yeah, let's go with that. All right, so we're going to. What the heck? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Well, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> when did this get here? I mean, this is probably Obi, right? Because I mean, I I did kind of prank him with bamboo, and I mean, it would only make sense for him to prank with bamboo wood and this single piece of bamboo. Oh, there, oh, there's signs. There's signs. Have fun, Santa of Salvation. P.S. Do not return gift. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to mine our way through if we wanna actually. Oh, don't tell me he did it all the way. No! <laughs> no! Why? I thought I was pretty nice about it, right? 
<laughs> how far does this go? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> please, please don't tell me. Oh my gosh, how many? How many? No way. <laughs> what? How many did he do? I think we're towards the end here. Okay. <laughs> wow. I mean, thankfully I have a good axe, but why? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> no one took responsibility, but I, I have to, you know, guess that it's Obi, right? I mean... Who else could it be? <laughs> Do you think there's like a possibility of like him finding out who who the Sam of Salvation is? Do, do, do you think? <laughs> this is actually taking a while. What the heck? Okay, that's everything. Good. <laughs> um, okay. <sighs> I'm gonna have to clean all this up before I mine, aren't I? Okay. Fine, let's sleep first. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> All right, that, I I almost kind of don't want to dig it up, but like, <laughs> uh, it, it just kind of looks ridiculous. So I I kind of have to. Eh, I could just convince them that they confused me with somebody else. It would work, right? Right. They really had to place it on every single block, didn't they? Good grief. Also, while I'm here. Yeah, don't think I didn't notice this. <laughs> Apparently, somebody has been trying to hide cactus from me. Y yeah, it's probably Ori. <laughs> probably trying to get back at me from the present when she was still here. It, it kind of funny thinking about it since, you know, she left. So, yeah, it, it, it must have taken me a while to, to realize this. All right, with that out of the way, let's get to mining. Oh, we're here. Well, that's actually kind of perfect. Yevo just got on. Uh, yeah, let's go visit him. Say hi. Oh. Oh my, okay. That is quite the landscape he has. <laughs> my goodness, he's really set himself up. Looks like he's trying to get some uh, of the uh, quick snow, or not quick snow, uh, powdered snow. But it looks like he's right over there. Oh, 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 ah, 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 ugh. No, God. He needs to make an easier way out of here. Hello? Hey, man, how's it going? Hey, so uh, I kind of wanted to discuss some things with you, if that's okay. The The first thing mm -hmm. I would like to talk to you about yes. is uh, I heard you are in the business for uh, selling uh, gunpowder. Is that correct? Correct, absolutely. Yeah, so you wouldn't happen to have nine stacks of this stuff for sale, would you? Yes, I do. Um, Are you, you looking for nine stacks? Yes. Of the purest, best quality gunpowder on this world. Uh, I am, in fact. Uh, do you okay. believe that 32 diamonds would be an acceptable offer? Honestly, yes, that is perfect. I'm low on diamonds, and... Honestly, yeah, it, I could really use them. So definitely, right. I got plenty of gunpowder for you. Sweet. I know you said you only need nine stacks of gunpowder, but I'd like to give you a little, uh, you know, friendly oh. gesture. Oh my gosh. Maybe, uh, nice donation. Oh my. To my fellow, uh, to my fellow snow buddy. <laughs> I, I mean, I, all I'm really doing at the moment is uh, farming ice in the in mm -hmm. the northern quadrant but i mean mm -hmm. yeah I'm, I'm still in spawn but that actually also leads me to another thing um a little yeah, more on the serious that. side sorry 
but sure, no, no problem. Uh, I noticed that you know a lot. There was a lot of people leaving, and you you were basically the first, if I recollect correctly. Leaving spawn, that is. Right? Yeah. Yes, that that is correct. So. Like, why is that? Is, is there, like, a collective reason why a bunch of people left? Because I, I just feel like I've been out of the loop this this entire time, and I, I don't know. So, essentially, that kind of is why Ori and I are enemies now. Ori was basically just, you know, trolling me and making, you know, breaking some of my some parts of my house breaking my uh wheat field and my uh my windmill or not windmill but you know wheat field oh, okay and, and spawn and then she was messing with me in the nether we went on a nether expedition with her and beardo she even hit me off of a nether fortress into a lava lake i lost everything so oh, because of that ouch. you know she's now my number one enemy my number one competitor in business and i had to you know leave spawn i couldn't be there anymore she was just giving me too hard of a time She's best buds with Beardo, and Beardo's my neighbor, and uh, I, I had to get out of there. It just it wasn't the best environment for me, and I settled on this frozen wasteland with my penguins, my donkeys, horse, and camel, and... I mean, it's pretty. Let's, let's be honest. This is a pretty place to, to settle down. Oh, absolutely. I love it. It's nice when it snows. I know most people don't like rain and snow in this in Minecraft, but... It's a beautiful, beautiful place when it snows. It really is. No, yeah, I can imagine. And the nation of Chill Hollow will be the strongest in this entire world. Mark my words. Uh, okay, those <laughs> those are fighting words, but um, I'm not fighting to you. I, I no, definitely... no, just like in general, you know, I just. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. You know, I hope my uh my charitable donation of gunpowder can definitely uh keep us on good terms no yeah i i mean i'll be i'll be honest with you i'm mm -hmm. on well except for beardo i i'm on basically neutral terms with everybody at the moment so i mean that's not really right. any 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 dirt on me um okay sure sure but okay but that doesn't explain why she left i like uh, uh, i i think there's an entire whole case of investigative journalism i'm gonna have to run through but th thank you very much Probably, for yeah. for for letting me know and i mean hey um if you ever want to make future trades uh i am absolutely down for it just uh, contact me via i don't know when your penguins <laughs> sure yeah i got a couple carrier penguins it'll take like maybe a week for them to reach you but yeah okay I'll, I'll deliver the message Alrighty, well, uh, good luck to you in your hopefully future peace. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank I'll, you. I'll see you around. Thank you so much for the gunpowder. I really Likewise. appreciate it. Thank you for the diamonds. Yeah, safe yeah, no travels. Problem. Thank you. Bye. That doesn't make sense. Like, yeah, we we've had like a small amount of quarreling with Ori in the past, but like I. She doesn't seem like the type of person to just shove somebody in lava when, like, she's well aware that all their stuff is there. Like, that's, like, that's almost worse than, like, what Beardo's done. Like, he's d murdered several people, but, like, at least, you know, in that situation, um, you know, he never took any of the stuff or there was no huge consequences it was just a very great distur uh, disturbance and like emotional uh, uh disruptance or whatever you want to call it but like shoving somebody in lava and forcing them to lose all their stuff and constantly messing with them i i just said that just doesn't sound like ori yeah i don't know I might have to take that story with a grain of salt, but I don't think it's completely unfounded. I don't think he was lying, per se, but there might be more to the story than uh, he's letting on. But in any case, uh, I guess uh, the next thing 
I should really do is make a road to Silver's place. I just gotta grab some more materials and we shall be on our way. Man, this is a tedious process. <laughs> but hey, at least in the end, it should be worth it. All right, we should be getting close. In fact, oh, yep, there it is. Okay, just put in like a couple more blocks. In fact, that's probably close enough, let's be honest. Might as well end it off on a round stack. All right, now we need, just need to get all of the railing in. Uh, this is going to take even longer. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's it. Boom. Finally. <laughs> Let's do a victory lap all the way back down to uh, spawn. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna play this in... So keep in mind, this is... Uh, let me see. Uh, 600... Plus 13,079. So that's... um. 1900, it, like, an, al almost 2,000 blocks if we're rounding up because of some of the last two digits. But yeah, this is 2,000 blocks that I'm traveling in a lot less time <laughs> than flying because, holy smokes, flying it is not only inconvenient because you don't really know where you're going, but also just a bit slower. And we're nearly there, yep. Boom, 2,000 blocks, just like that. All right, without further ado, let's start that prank on, or at least start getting the materials to prank Silver. <laughs> so if you guys may recall, um, two episodes ago, I ended up asking you guys what I should do with Silver. Should I give him a present or should I prank him a bit? And you guys went for prank. So, I am uh, gonna do just that. However, in order to do this prank, uh, we're gonna be down in the mines for quite a while. So, go to Y level 48, I believe. And we're just gonna start going. And right away, we're already getting what we want. This also might be a handy Y level to get coal, too, so eh, this will be nice. In fact, I'm wondering whether I should smelt this or not. I don't know. Oh, and that's... We instantly ran into a vein. Dang, okay, I'll take it. Man, I know that copper spawns a lot at Y level 48, but man, this is kind of insane. This is not going to take as long as I thought. All right, it took a bit, but... um. We finally have most of what we wanted. I wanted to smelt all of this copper, but it was taking such an astronomical amount of fuel to get all of this that I think <laughs> I think this will be enough and we'll just do the rest as raw copper blocks. So what we're planning to do is basically f find one of uh, Silver's Mountains uh, that's nearby, and basically just put a bunch of copper on it. <laughs> so basically, uh, Silver has been kind of running into a copper shortage, and that's mostly because what, are, what he's planning to build is a lot of steampunky stuff. So naturally, that's going to include a lot of copper. Now, you might be <laughs> arguing that even though you guys aren't allowed to suggest gifts and pranks at the same time, I'm kind of doing that anyways. And, um, well, that's just mostly because that's kind of the nature of my pranks. Can you not? Yeah, that's, that's something I'm going to work on eventually. Um, and I, yeah, I just have this tendency to either do an inside joke, uh, for example, Ori with her jungle logs, or do basically turn a gift into a prank just so 
the, the prank doesn't sting as hard. Because this, at the end of the day, this is just, you know, for fun. And it's not uh, for the sake of, you know, being malicious. So that being said, uh, we have to pick out a mountain or, like, peak that would benefit this kind of project. Because I'm not actually sure how many blocks this shulker box is going to uh, really uh, cover. Like, it's not going to cover that, obviously. But one of these kinds of peaks, um, definitely. But I got to pick out which peak it's going to hit. Which is, oh, of course the thing is... The, the creeper, of course, is disrupting the sleep. Silver, why did you build it this way? So uh, it's obviously going to have to be up front. Otherwise, you know, it's not going to have the same effect as if I did it farther away. So maybe like right here. I feel like this is a good one to start with. So yeah, let's let's get on with it. surprisingly ran out of materials I'm not sure how I feel about that I honestly since we're only doing uh, the the copper block at this point I think will be okay but that's still a decent bit to go I I don't know um, that was like a f what seven uh, eight stacks right there so I'm not entirely certain if I will make it to the bottom because keep in mind as I go further down to the bottom uh, the the more that I will have to fill up but um we'll see we'll see I I'm not I'm honestly not sure if I would save more time if I ended up getting uh, just like the the copper ore, but I think I need to at least make some of it the the copper block because then it would be more even Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out on the fly as I'm mining. So I'm mining for copper, right? And Like look at this This is this is just cool <laughs> Like this much grass in a cave is just so Weird, but also really cool. There's like vines hanging around. If only it like transitioned into into like a mossy cave, that would be excellent. But man, sorry, just 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 had to show that off real quick. In fact, I am going to screenshot that. That's really cool. All right, we're back and we're at it again. <laughs> Hopefully we can cover it this time. I kind of running late at night, um, and I definitely need to get this done before I go to bed for work tomorrow. So, <laughs> because if I wait until tomorrow, Silver's going to notice and it's going to be a bit awkward to try and finish it. Okay, I'm going to place this and we're going to take a look back and... See how what this looks like. <laughs> that looks so ridiculous. <laughs> oh, that is I I this is amazing. <laughs> Best thing I've ever done on this server. <laughs> No cheating, I, I did it all the way around. Oh, man. I better not hear Silver complaining about copper ever again. <laughs> uh, to be fair, he wasn't really complaining uh, before this, but it like... He did uh, need some supply from me a little earlier this week. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, this is just perfect. 
It's gonna look even better with the scaffolding gone. Just give me a minute. All right, with with that done, um, <laughs> I still can't believe what I'm looking at. <laughs> oh, this is so infinitely stupid. <laughs> this was actually kind of hard to do as well because, uh, like, it had pretty steep cliffs. Um, I may or may not have dedicated half a day to this, uh, the other half being me at work, and, um, yeah, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't know how to react to that information now that I am fully realizing it, but, um, yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head off to, to, to work on something else now. Now you guys might be wondering why I am editing the town hall and why am I putting acacia wood in it when it, the outside clearly does not reflect those kinds of colors. Um, well, Halloween is coming up and uh, I want part of the celebration to take place inside the town hall because there's no purpose in making an entirely new building just so you can celebrate one thing once a year it just makes more sense to me to just edit the the town hall a little bit uh to to make it fit thematically and um yeah i think it's going pretty well so far just need to put in some other details i think we'll be good okay so as you can imagine um the blues kind of clashing with the orange a bit and yeah, I was planning on taking this out, but I gotta figure out what to replace with this because I am having a hard time figuring that out at the moment. So I, yeah, I think this is enough. The the lighting is a little darker. The 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 colors are a little more Halloweeny. Just just enough to get everybody into the mood. I, I'm not. I don't want to put in too much work into this because. Again, we're going to have to reverse it back once Halloween is over. But, yeah. I, I think the inside came out alright. I have a very specific idea for the outside. Because I've always <laughs> kind of had this imagery about the outside. The This little roof bit here always kind of looked to me like a, a witch's hat. Just the, the, the way it curved and whatnot. And, um, yeah... <laughs> We're going to be turning into a witch's hat. I just got to get enough uh, black stone. The wood here can be like hair or whatever, and then it can, can extend out, and then we can have like a little witch's hat <laughs> with the uh, extra, and we can have like the, it's just better if I get it built. Okay, so Silver just logged on. I'm wondering if I can catch his reaction. <laughs> so I'm going to fly over to his place right now, or I guess boat over to his place. Oh, he, he's asking for a group. Um. <laughs> uh, I wonder if he's already seen it. I don't know where he logged in. Okay, let's see if he's logged in there or not. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I knew there was something up with that message you sent me. And I I don't know how I feel about this. I love it, <laughs> but I have, mix, I have mixed emotions. That, that that was that was that's perfect. That's part of the, that's the plan. <laughs> I mean, I right when you sent me that message of that little wink, I'm like, "Okay. Okay." <laughs> Uh, I, I, I don't know how I'm gonna take all this down. <laughs> I might keep it. <laughs> it's so it's so pretty. I I wouldn't and say it's pretty. <laughs> it's it, I like it. I, I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it. It's it's awesome. If if you like separated the those into two words, <laughs> it's it. It really is. Um, <laughs> you covered this whole thing. You, someone else had to be in this with you. No. No, just you? No, yeah. I, 
Can't yeah. underestimate the grind, my man. <laughs> The grind continues. Van just dropped me off a little gift. <laughs> cool. Um, if you want to come over here, you could check it out. It's not your your usual gift. With, you know. Van's good at not your usual gifts. No, I know, but it's, it's like not a the pre special no. talent. I mean, no, it's not jungle logs in a box. There is no box, Ori. I'm just confused. Like. <laughs> I, I mix. I have mixed emotions. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, you actually did a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, do I? I'm sorry. I won't. I won't do that again. No, you're good. Uh, it's just I was being dumb and I didn't have. I went into a fight not where. Oh my god. <laughs> he did this. He did I I told you I was grinding iron, wasn't I? Didn't I? <laughs> iron or copper? <laughs> or copper? Sorry. You're good. I'm just, I just, I just, I just gotta see something really quick. Hold on. No, it's, it's uh, nope. I, 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 I guarantee layer. you. There's only one I guarantee, layer. Oh, oh, I thought you were gonna check the backside. <laughs> hey, stay away. I'm putting it back. I was My just cover. curious if it was hollow or solid. That's <laughs> no, no way. I, I, I could have done it, it solid. solid. I wish. It was I mean, solid. don't get me wrong. It does not take away from its amazingness. <laughs> I just, I just, curiosity got the better of me, and I had to know. I'm just gonna let you know, I will get you back at some point. <laughs> I think there's several people planning to get me back at this point. Like, Obi oh, already we're did it. A, we're all gonna do a collective prank. Just one ginormous one. I love it, though. <laughs> like, what's your, like, least favorite block or most favorite block? You don't have one. Oh, man. Uh, like... <laughs> I have certain blocks that I don't like being combined together, but I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> As you can see, we have a giant witch's hat on it now. I actually uh, thought about adding light sources partway through, uh, mostly because I was scared about mobs and I didn't want to put a bunch of buttons all over it. So what I ended up doing instead was putting some... Uh, shroom lights on there. I might still have to do some spawn proofing on that top ridge. I'll have to see in a, uh, in a minute whenever it turns dark again. But I also added these um, these specters or ghosts with a little bit of the shroom lights um, that I totally, totally did not steal from anybody. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of had it coming. I mean, come on. You you don't just attack somebody and then sell your frog lights here. Come on. But anyways. Yeah, that's the outside. I might... Yeah, I might have to put in, like, a cheap torch somewhere. Or maybe, like, some more candles. I think more candles would work. Yeah, I'll put more candles and hopefully that'll keep uh, things from spawning up here. But, yeah, uh, you guys might be wondering, why am I so focused on making the town hall halloween -y? And the reason for that is because uh, I want to do a little bit of a fun event. But in order to do that, we need pumpkins. And as you can see, I've been trying to get a pumpkin farm going here, but um, it's, it's not enough. So we're going to visit someone who's new in town. Well, actually, they were an old person in town. We just didn't know they were here. Uh, yeah, Grizzly. Um, this was his little cave that we somehow never saw. And yeah, he just kind of had a home base here. He was hibernating and then he came out and we were all here. And he's like, I, you guys are cool, but I kind of want to in solitude you know bears and i'm like yeah okay fair enough thankfully he has not left yet but uh he's planning to go to a taiga and set up a base so i'm gonna see if i can pay him in snow here in case he wants to decorate it with that um and i mean i'm right by my house so if he doesn't appreciate that we can uh get some other things maybe emeralds or who knows what he's still kind of 
gathering materials, so we we might be able to find something suitable. But yeah, he should be over here preparing to leave. Hello? Hello? Hey. So, um, I heard that you are selling pumpkins, right? That's correct. Okay, would... I, I, I'm, I'm trying to set up like a Halloween event at the moment, so... <laughs> And uh, as you can imagine, that requires quite a few of those. So, um, would you be interested in taking eight like carpeted, eight stacks of carpeted snow for like two stacks of pumpkin? Uh, yeah, I can do that. Okay, Q, sweet. Thank you, you so go. much. That saves so much time. You have no idea. <laughs> good doing, good doing business with you. Yeah, you too. Uh, I. Want to be like business buddies in the future, or you plan on like being fairly alone uh, in in your taiga? Uh, no, I'll uh, I'll be open for business when I start my building. Okay, sweet. All right, see you around. I'll I'll leave you to your packing. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Okay, now that we got the pumpkins, we need to go ahead and shear them. We actually have a nice place over right here to do that. So, yeah, let's get to... I guess we can just do this, right? Yeah. Kind of a nice sound. Want an even better sound? <laughs> all right, I'm going to end up throwing away all of the pumpkin seeds for for spare bone meal cuz I I don't want to mess with grizzlies part of the market and also I'm just not really that interested in pumpkins anyway. The only reason I got these is just purely for a Halloween event. So, yeah. Uh I I'm, I'm just keep throwing these away. So it's just occurred to me that I haven't really told you guys what I'm doing, <laughs> which um not a great practice. Uh but anyways, so what I am planning on doing is doing a little Halloween event, if that wasn't uh, obvious enough. But uh, what is going to be going on is that I am going to be basically holding like an Easter egg hunt, but for jack-o'-lanterns. So we have all of those made up, and um, what we're going to end up doing is that when, I guess, November 1st comes up... Uh, we will count up all of the jack-o'-lanterns that everybody has gotten, and we shall uh, see who the winner is, and the winner will get a little prize. But, in any case, I need to start to get, like, getting to uh, placing these jack-o'-lanterns around, but something I just now considered is that I, like... What if somebody confuses a jack-o'-lantern that isn't a part of the event to be part of the event? And, I mean, I know that there aren't a lot of pumpkins around. The only good farm I've seen so far is uh, Silver's over here, and he hasn't lived here in a good while now. Um, and Grizzlies, and... Yeah, like, that. that is the case. Like, Gri like Grizzly is just starting out... And um, he doesn't have a lot of pumpkins to sell. In fact, I took a significant hit on his stock. But I, so it's fairly unlikely that people will have jack-o'-lanterns around. But just in case, I do want to have some sort of clarification. The only way, like the only thing is, I don't know how to do that. Um, I know I want to do it with like item frames. Do I have, like, other sticks around? Because I definitely need more. Uh, I need two stacks, uh, <laughs> funny enough. And, um... I don't know, do I have anything? Like, white dye, or... Glowstone, or... Actually, I just had an interesting idea. What if I did diamonds? <laughs> I know, kind of, like... I, I... No, yeah, diamonds. Like, I have plenty of the stuff. 
Um, ever since I got Fortune, I've just been stacking on this stuff. And, I mean, it will add a little extra incentive, and it's a great identifier, because who puts diamonds on a pumpkin? <laughs> so, so, yeah, I think that will be perfect. I just gotta get the... I Imagine having the struggle with item frames, but not the diamonds. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I... I guess I need... We should have plenty of leather over here, and... I've actually been farming up a decent amount of wood, so we should have plenty of sticks. I think that should be everything, so let's just start speeding around. Let's just go, no point in uh, wasting time here. Now I do want to do a few gimmies, just so people have a good idea of just, like an idea of what they're gonna look like. So yeah, here's one. Put one in Ori's little... <laughs> She hasn't been here in a while. There's probably this this thing is probably like stock full of honey. Uh, the shears are probably just gone. I don't remember how these things work, but I know shears are a part of it. Or maybe maybe she just does bottles in this one. I'm not entirely certain. But um yeah, oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> she has a collection. That's actually pretty smart to to turn the build into storage. That's that's a really nice uh, space saver. Right, I'm getting distracted. Um, oh oh, I need to uh, make sure I'm documenting all these as well, just so I don't lose where uh, these are at. Put a, another one right here. Okay, that's another one down, and it's basically just gonna be. A lot of this. <laughs> now obviously I'm not gonna show every single one, but I mean I'm gonna be having hints in the video, so uh, j just so uh, we can have some first come first serves and whatnot, because I know there will be some nobles spying on this video, and I mean that, that that's okay, I'm gonna be showing a very small amount of them. I think I'm going to do a gimme at uh, every single base as well, because yes, this is going outside of spawn. <laughs> Not going to lie, placing Yevos w is a little awkward because, <laughs> I mean, he's AFK, but he's still on the server. So <laughs> I hope he doesn't get a head start. I just want to make the clarification that like somebody can absolutely steal a pumpkin from somebody else's place. The these are just the places that happen to be frequented and whatnot, so it just seems like a good place to put them. An odd side effect is that this doing this is actually allowing me to see more of people's bases when I don't usually travel there. Um, like for example, Jane slash uh, Raven's place. I I think they've been living together. Um, yeah, they have this entire underground segment. It's actually pretty cool. Like they have a an, like a axolotl tank. They've got this big storage. They've got a cow farm. They got all sorts of stuff in here, and I never knew any of it was here in this little cave. Not only do Raven and Jane have one, but two storage places, and this seems to have a zombie spawner. And yes, I'm gonna include Beardo's place as well. I, I, I'll admit, it looks pretty, but... I know if I don't include him, he's gonna throw a fit of rage and then kill me in my sleep, so... Fine. Oh my goodness, he has a sniffer? Good grief. This guy's been putting in the work, I'll give him that. Oh, I've got 28 left. This is actually getting progressively harder and harder to hide them. And I'm finding that certain places are easier to hide things. So if you don't mind, uh, no, that'd be too obvious. Mm, all right. I've gotten quite acquainted with quite a few places. And now I'm actually slightly lost. Where am I? Uh... Okay, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> but, yeah, we've finally hid every single pumpkin. I did lose one because I accidentally placed, I placed one in 
around Yevo's place and I placed it on a snow block and I did not know jack-o'-lanterns could turn into uh, uh, snowmen or snow golems. I thought that was just carved pumpkins, but apparently, <laughs> apparently jack-o'-lanterns can do it too. So I have 13 pages of coordinates. Um, yeah, I'm quite tired of hiding pumpkins, <laughs> but I'm glad I did it though. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be doing this next year though. So originally I was planning on ending the episode here, but I, um, I have something else I need to look at because I got a, I was on Obi's stream the other day. And while we were working on his bamboo farm, I just got past something, like, random. Now, originally, I thought this meant, like, uh, like the usual SOS stuff. But then I realized, oh, yeah, people know I have contact with the Salmon of Salvation. And thus SOS, Salmon of Salvation. And uh, it's a lodestone compass. Uh, so, uh, you know what? We are going to visit whatever this is. It has to be a prank, right? So, <laughs> um, because when, uh, the, the last thing I did as a Salmon of Salvation was a prank. So, mm, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, we shall see. I've been looking in differences of colors all day just to make sure that like certain pumpkins aren't too obvious. So I noted that immediately. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is actually really pretty looking. I don't, I don't think I want to touch it. I, it's really pretty. Oh, of course, it, it's in a l tiny little uh, riverbed. Um, oh, I should make sure this stays safe. I should probably put it in my ender chest just so. <laughs> Nobody like tries to kill me and then gets away with knowing every single jack-o'-lantern because I just made the announcement. So, okay. Uh, is there anything underneath this? I hope that's water sounds and not something coming from inside. But no, it does not seem like there is anything. Oh, here's a door. I'm... I'm I'm expecting like a giant TNT trap. Actually, in fact, I'm going to put everything in here. I don't have space. Yeah, that's everything. So, <laughs> uh, let's let's go in and ooh, it's a pretty sunset. How fitting. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what? could this possibly be for oh and they they have a conduit somewhere what the heck oh <laughs> oh my gosh did they just did they just give the salmon of salvation a home this is golden <laughs> Okay, I, I might have to show you guys some, some bit, like bits and pieces of Obi's stream because Ori was asking me some questions and pro pro presumably while she was making this. How does the Salmon of Salvation feel about axolotls? You could take them or leave them. I mean, being a salmon, I imagine, you know... They're 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 a little dangerous for him, but well, like he's told me that they're a little gamey, but like they taste all right. Oh my gosh, salmon! <laughs> what do you think the the salmon would eat? What do you think salmon of self? If I was trying to make a peace offering, um, for since salmon. he doesn't like me, what do you think the salmon of salvation would like to eat? Seagrass? I think he would like salmon. Wait, what? He would like. Yeah. So he's a uh, so he's a carnivore. He's a salmon. Yeah. So the salmon is a cannibal. 
Cannibal That's the word I'm we going go. for. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, oh. I mean, most fish are. Most fish eat their own babies, so. That's, that's very true. I wasn't, wasn't anticipating this. If the salmon of salvation could have a pet, hmm. what would it be? Golden carrot. What? <laughs> oh, okay. I kind of have an idea of what the salmon of salvation is outside of just a gift giver, and he, he's kind of he's kind of loopy. He's um he he eats he's definitely a cannibal, and this kind of came about um because there was just a couple of times where I put salmon in some of the barrels without really thinking. I'm like. Yeah, sure. The reason he did that is because he's a cannibal and he wants other people to enjoy the fish that he's caught. It's it's weird. <laughs> it's just but oh my gosh, they they made this an actually living home, livable home. I am shocked. Why does he keep spinning? In any case, um she asked me what he keeps as a pet. I said golden carrot. Don't, don't ask why um but yeah he, she got a yellow axolotl and named them golden carrot <laughs> i where'd they even get a conduit that's my question this is an actually livable home for the salmon of salvation this is great <laughs> i will absolutely have to keep this in mind and wait, is this the only build that's actually utilized the, the mountains here? Like the Cherry Grove Mountains? If so, that's actually kind of hilarious and I'll, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> I was fully expecting um, something terrible to happen, but um, ended up working out. But yeah, this is the only place where... <laughs> This is the only... Th remember at, in the first episode, I, I somehow remember this moment. I'm like, somebody better... T Ooh! Somebody better take this mountain, otherwise I'm going to be mildly upset, or something along those lines. Well, this is it. <laughs> I guess this belongs to the Salmon of Salvation. I, I was not anticipating that. I need to sleep in that bed. Well, that was... Uh... One heck of a way to, to end the episode. The the Salmon of Salvation has a home. <laughs> he doesn't have to live in my little attic cubby above my bed anymore. <laughs> what an episode. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you next time. We we have our next episode is also going to be very busy. I'm I've been very busy. All right, see you, bye.